Got a hankering for some takeout? Not so fast. These are the foods you should never order, and a few you definitely should. Not ordering eggs for takeout may seem like a no-brainer, but let's be honest, who among us hasn't been tempted by a late-night omelet every now and then? Unfortunately, eggs are undeniably better when eaten right out of the pan, no matter how you plan on serving them. This is about more than just taste, too. According to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, eggs should be served immediately after being cooked. Warm egg dishes should stay warm, while cold egg dishes need to be refrigerated until it's time to eat. Unfortunately, getting takeout means that your eggs might cool off during transit, arriving at your door cold, unappetizing, and downright dangerous. Can I offer you a nice egg in this trying time? Yeah! As the FDA explains, you could refrigerate cooked egg dishes until you're ready to serve them, but you'll have to heat them up to 165 degrees Fahrenheit to be safe. No matter how hungry you are for a classic breakfast, it's probably better to stick to hash browns or bacon, or muster the motivation to whip up some scrambled eggs in your own kitchen. Sushi is another meal that sounds like a great idea when you're sitting at home in your sweats. However, no matter how much you love this classic Japanese dish, it's safest to enjoy it at the restaurant straight out of the kitchen. Since it's made with raw fish, sushi is a delicate food that needs to maintain specific temperatures to remain safe for consumption. Sushi tends to go bad within two hours of sitting out, and even sooner in warm conditions. The reality of getting takeout is that you can't count on your food being kept at optimal temperatures before it gets to you. For all you know, the restaurant may have had your delivery bag on the counter for 20 minutes before the delivery driver is able to pick it up. Not only that, but your driver may have a number of other stops before yours, too. This means that your food may sit out for upwards of 45 minutes or more before it gets to your door. Depending on the temperature, this is getting close to the maximum amount of time that sushi can safely sit out before it becomes a serious food risk. To avoid any doubt, the next time you're craving a sushi dinner, do yourself a favor and head over to your nearest restaurant. As tasty as a warm bowl of pho might be at your local Vietnamese spot, ordering it for takeout is to be avoided at all costs. As many pho lovers know from personal experience, when the noodles and the broth sit together in a tight container, it's only a matter of time before the noodles soak up all the liquid and become a mushy mess. The traditional method of enjoying a bowl of pho is to eat the majority of the noodles and leave any broth that's left over. This prevents the noodles from absorbing too much liquid, much like what happens if you overcook pasta. In Vietnam, asking for a takeout container for your pho will likely earn you a confused look. It just isn't done. And while some Vietnamese restaurants know to keep the broth and noodles separate, it's best not to take your chances with this one. All in all, pho is yet another dish that's at its best the moment it comes out of the kitchen. No doubt, ice cream and milkshakes are great choices if you're in the mood for a refreshing sweet treat, especially on a hot day. Ice cream, still the top favorite. Try some and thrill to the ice cream taste. Yep, it's real good. However, these creamy desserts were not designed to be takeout foods. Ice cream typically takes around 20 minutes to melt, so chances are that by the time your ice-cold dessert arrives at your door, it'll be a liquid mess. If you're planning on bringing ice cream with you on a trip, you can keep it cold and firm with ice packs or dry ice. However, the typical delivery driver doesn't have these supplies on hand, which is why ice cream-based treats are best enjoyed straight out of the freezer. When you're in need of a milkshake or an ice cream-based dessert, it's best to muster the strength and head to the ice cream shop or grocery store rather than ordering it through a delivery app. You might love the thought of ordering them straight to your front door on the regular, but french fries are by far one of the worst foods for takeout. As crispy and delicious as they might be when served hot, a french fry's beloved crunchiness doesn't stand the test of time. Even 10 minutes in a bag can leave them soft and soggy. Experience will tell you that french fries are far better hot and crunchy out of the fryer. Even bringing french fries home as leftovers is a gamble, unless you have an air fryer to bring them back to their crispy former glory. So what's the superior alternative? Well, you could go keep frozen fries in your freezer for when the craving for starchy spuds hits. That way, you can enjoy this fast food staple right out of the pan or oven, with no delivery drive in between to ruin their crunch. So they're the duds. But how about the best foods to order on your next takeout night. Thai food is a great choice for a tasty dinner. Whether you're craving pad thai or a bowl of green curry, you really can't go wrong. Thai food is the ultimate comfort food, in fact full of warming spicy flavors and deep fried appetizers. Plus, unless you're Thai, you can probably assume that any Thai food you make yourself 
will be a sad imitation of what you'll get at a restaurant. Some dishes are better left to the pros. Grubhub's report on the top ordering trends of 2022 confirms what we all know from personal experience. Out of all the food ordered for takeout, pad thai was the fourth most popular dish, behind cheese pizza, cheeseburgers, and burritos. A Reddit thread about takeout foods also claims that Thai cuisine is the way to go. While some users listed Thai food as a whole, others had specific dishes in mind. One commenter wrote, Thai food, fresh shrimp rolls with hot sauce, pad thai, red curry. When I'm craving something, it's usually lettuce, noodles, or spicy things, and that order satisfies all three. Pizza time. Pizza is another go-to order when you're craving a quick-fix meal but don't have the motivation to cook it yourself. In fact, pizza is arguably the perfect choice for takeout, especially if you're feeding a group. It comes in a suitable size to feed the family, and it stays delicious even if your delivery driver has a few stops to make before dropping it off. The box keeps the pizza nice and hot, while a well-made pizza crust stays firm throughout the trip. What's not to love? Fans of Takeout agreed with this sentiment on Reddit, listing pizza as one of the best options. One user said, I love pizza delivery. Deliciousness is just brought to your door. Grubhub's report on the top ordering trends of 2022 seems to back this up too, with cheese pizza coming in as the third most ordered takeout meal. And that's not all. Pulling 100 countries across every continent, Money Beach discovered that pizza tops the charts for delivery worldwide. It's hard to argue with that. Burritos are another great option when you're looking for a filling, flavorful meal that you can order from your phone. This versatile food can be anything you want it to be. A breakfast burrito, a classic Chipotle version, or even the holy grail of burritos made California style. Plus, burritos are a mess-free version of their cousins, nachos and tacos. As long as you can fit it in your mouth, all of the tasty goodness should stay safely packaged up in the tortilla. Grubhub's data shows that burritos were the top takeout choice in 2022. And to be honest, who's surprised? Whether you order your burritos from classic fast food spots like Kidoba or you support your local Mexican restaurant, it's hard to beat a tortilla filled with a hearty combination of meat, beans, rice, and well, everything else. As well as being undeniably delicious, burritos have a long shelf life and won't be ruined by the long drive to your door. This convenience is likely part of the reason burritos were ordered so often last year, as well as the fact that they satisfy every desire for comfort food. Burgers are the ultimate comfort food, since they're filled to the brim with carbs, meat, and melted cheese. And sure, they might not be the healthiest option on the takeout menu, but burgers are a great go-to when you want to let loose. Plus, you'll be able to customize your order as you please, whether you prefer a classic burger with cheese and lettuce, or a burger smothered in sauce and topped with extras like grilled onions or blue cheese. You ever tried a turkey burger? Is that a fried turkey leg inside a grilled hamburger? If so, yes, delicious. Based on Grubhub's ordering data from 2022, cheeseburgers were the second most ordered food of the year, surpassed only by burritos. Of course, nothing is more American than a burger and fries, so it makes sense that Americans are more drawn to this combo when having a night in. If you're getting hangrier by the minute but are paralyzed by indecision, a burger is an easy choice. Dependably tasty and filling, a juicy burger on a nicely toasted bun will never let you down. Getting a takeout meal is all about convenience and pleasure, hence why comfort foods tend to be so popular for delivery. That said, being tasty isn't enough. The food also needs to taste just as good after a 30-minute delivery drive. Chicken sandwiches and nuggets fit both of these descriptions, making either option an optimal meal choice for a night in. DoorDash did its own research to see which items were getting the most love from its delivery customers. And unsurprisingly, fried chicken dishes ranked high on the list of favorites. According to DoorDash's report, chicken sandwiches and nuggets were the third most ordered takeout food in early 2022. When you're looking for a bite to eat from the comfort of your couch, both of these chicken dishes will likely hit the spot. Although burritos have earned a category of their own, Mexican food as a whole is an excellent choice for takeout. Your definition of Mexican food might include anything from a Taco Bell Chalupa Supreme to a family-owned food cart serving true Mexican street food. Either way, few meals are more satisfying than a plate of hearty Mexican food. This is another option that you can easily customize to your taste, since Mexican food includes enchiladas, chilaquiles, tacos, and everything in between. Reddit users sharing their favorite takeout meals consistently listed Mexican food as a go-to choice. One person specified, cheese enchiladas from my local Mexican restaurant. Another said, a burrito bowl from Chipotle. Sometimes I get crazy and get it in the tortilla instead. Whether you like to hit the classics or yearn for something more adventurous, this vibrant cuisine doesn't disappoint.
Chinese food is a classic takeout alternative that's ideal if you want to treat yourself to a meal that's high in flavor. It's also guaranteed to retain its flavor and texture after a long delivery trip. The veggies are typically crunchy enough to survive some extra steaming, and the noodles will only get more flavorful with time. Chinese food is actually the most popular takeout option in North America, according to a poll conducted by Money Beach. After collecting data from 100 countries worldwide, the results revealed that Chinese food was the second most ordered takeout globally, and the top choice in North America, Australia, and a number of other countries around the world. For a cheap, delicious meal that satisfies your cravings, Chinese food is the way to go.